Okay. And then when you're ready, feel free to set an intention for today's practice. And we'll gently open the eyes. We're going to start seated, so that can be in the chair or any way you want. Use support. Just make sure you're comfortable. We won't sit too long because you'll be sitting for 20 minutes in our meditation. But for now, I'd like you to just take the right arm out in front and do a little stretching. Take the left hand behind and then take the arm across your body but turn the head to the right as you do that. So I use the hand to guide that arm over to get it. It's a nice little front of the shoulder, back of the shoulder stretch, probably back of the shoulder. Another breath here. And then bring the head and arm back. Same thing on the other side. So you may want to take it up a little higher, the arm, or lower. So play with it, see what works for you but we will take the head in the opposite direction. So I have a pretty good hold on that arm. Might be almost like a tricep stretch as well as shoulders. Don't feel much. I might back off, lift it up a little higher. Another breath here. And then bring the head back and release the arm. You're gonna take, bend your right elbow and then you're gonna take the left hand under the elbow and you're gonna reach it up overhead and stretch that tricep. Okay, so this arm, if it has to go a little wider or whatever, but I'm bringing that right hand down behind my shoulder blades and then walk those fingers in the back over towards the left a little bit. Get a nice tricep stretch there. Trying to open up the shoulders. Let the fingers tips walk back to midline. If they walked over, you can release the top hand, release the bottom. Okay, other side. So you bend the elbow, take the palm, lift it up, lift it up, even higher, even higher. Take it behind you. And this right hand is just trying to guide it in and maybe walk the left hand over towards the right shoulder. Just so you feel a, um, Tricep stretch, that's all you need. Stay there for another breath. I just see somebody's in the waiting room. Let's bring them in. Yeah. Hey, Jamie, you're in. And release. Good. Okay, let's make some circles, get into our bodies a little bit. Let's do a moon salutation. Uh, some of you are familiar with it since it's a full moon tomorrow morning, 3.45, I think. If you happen to be up at that time. And then roll around the other direction. And go ahead and when you come back to center, extend the legs out. Free up the back of the knees from being folded. Bend the knees a little bit, hands on the thighs. Take an in-breath here, you're nice and long. Exhale, forward fold. But do keep the knees bent. Inhale, slide on up. We're gonna do that two more times. You didn't feel any stretch in the hamstrings, you're welcome to scoot the heels out a little bit. And then on the inhalation, come on up. We got one more, didn't feel much, scoot the heels out. The knees don't have to be bent so much. Everybody's a little different. And on the inhale, come on up. Okay, let's come on hands and knees. Depend upon what surface you're on, you may need a little extra padding for your knees. I got carpet, so I'm okay. We're gonna take the breath in once you come into table and exhale the hips back. Stretch out the lower back and then inhale, come back to center. Let's do two more of those. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. 
Next time you come into table positions, you're welcome to go on to your forearms if that works better. Slide the left toes out along your mat. Keep the toes on the floor for right now. So basically table, but I really want you to work your abs here. So we're gonna do a little bit for hips and also for our core. You're gonna take those toes, left toes out to the left. Just bring them out, kind of like a half circle. Then we're gonna bring that left knee in back behind the right knee. So I just crossed it, if you can see that. Then I'll extend the leg. Take it back out, but I'm trying not to let my table change and then bring it back in with the knee behind the front knee. Okay, one more time. Extend, maybe a little hips there, but don't change your table. And then this time, <clears throat> next time the knee goes behind, take your hips back just a little bit. So your knees are stacked, but you'll take care of your knees, how far you can go back. Okay, come back up to center and cross and table position. So I'm just turning around so I have room. So you're going to extend the right toes along your mat, right? Leg straight. Um, I want you to work on your abs here, okay? You can be on your forearms. Then take the leg out towards the right, slide it back, and then cross it behind the back, the front knee, excuse me. Okay, then make another little half circle and then come back right behind that knee. And one more time. And take it back. Next time the knees cross, you might stay here. You might take the hips back a little bit like a cross-legged child pose to get into that hip. Some knees won't want to fold back. Okay, let's roll forward and uncross. Downward dog. So alternative to downward dog is puppy stretch. You can keep your knees down, head down. If you're ready to go upside down today, go ahead and explore your downward dog. Do take care of your wrist. You can come onto your forearms if you need to. Stretch out the back of the legs. If you're in puppy stretch, enjoy that. That's an inversion as well. And knees to the earth. This time I like you to come standing up on your knees. This is part of our moon salutation we'll be doing, but we'll just break it up here for a moment. We're going to inhale the arms up, exhale forward bend. You have to use your abs to come up. So inhale, come on up. You might even look up. And exhale, we'll do another forward fold. Inhale, come on up, use your abs. This time the right foot is gonna step forward. I'm gonna bring the hands down, okay? Inhale the arms up. Let's do this two times. Back bend only if you're ready for it this morning. And once more, nice little shoulder opener. Open up the front part of your body. Next time the hands come down, take the right leg back. Step the left leg forward two times here, inhaling, exhaling. And again. Next time the hands come down, take both knees back, go into child pose. Now in this child pose, we're gonna slither forward onto our bellies. Now you can come onto your forearms, if you feel the need to do that, or just stay low to the ground. This is part of the moon salutation. Exhale, back into child. Inhale, stand up on your knees. Exhale, child. Let's do that piece again. This is warming up the body. I just kind of like slither through, okay? Some of you will come up a little higher. You're ready for and then we all lower down so we can go back into child pose. Stay in child for a breath. Inhale, stand up on your knees again. 
use the arms, bring the right foot forward, bring the hands down. Step the back foot forward, exhale here, and inhale, we're all gonna come up to standing. Okay. And then you can release the arms. So I wanna do a little neck and shoulders before we go into that full moon salutation. <clears throat> So we're going to inhale the right arm up. Okay. On the exhalation, it's going to come down, but you're going to turn the head to the left. Pause and go slow. Inhale the left arm up. The head comes back to center. And you take that arm up and it's back as far as you want. When it comes down, then you turn the head. And I even take the hand back a little bit more, get that stretch in the neck. Okay, so right arm comes up, head comes to center, that's the in-breath. Exhale, the arm goes down, the head turns over to the left. Again, on the left side, left arm comes up, head comes back to center, good for the brain. And when the head, uh, arm comes down, the head turns. And then we'll just bring the head back to center. Roll those shoulders up, back, and down. And you might still want your blanket in the middle of your mat because we'll put that back knee down if you need the pad. Okay, release the shoulders, everybody. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Okay. And you actually come down into a squat. Some of us won't be able to, so we'll just stay up a little higher. But all of us are going to take the right leg back, put the knee down. So this much we've done before. Inhale the arms up. Exhale the arms down. Left leg comes back. Child pose. So this is all you've done before. Inhale. Stand up on both knees. Exhale. Forward fold. So child pose, right? Now you're going to slither onto your bellies. A mini cobra. Exhale back into child. Inhale, stand up onto those knees, add the arms. Step the right foot forward, put the hands down. One more time, inhale the arms up, look up, bring the hands down, back foot forward into a forward bend or a squat. Look up to the moon. And then lift your hips up to the moon, bow forward. We're all in the forward fold. And then inhale, come on up. Exhale, the hands to the heart. Okay, we have the other side. And if this is new for you, just play with it. Leave something out. Inhale, the arms up. Exhale, forward fold or squat. I like to give you choices. Left leg goes back, knee goes down. Inhale, the arms up, everybody. Exhale, hands to the floor, right knee goes back, child pose. You're going to stand up on both knees, a little bit of ab work there. Then we go into child on the exhalation. Slither on to your belly. Exhale into child. Move with the breath. Stand up on the knees once again. Modify it if you need to. Step the left leg forward, hands to the floor. Add the arms once more. Bring the hands to the floor. Step the back foot forward, forward bend or a squat. Look up to the moon and then lift your hips up to the moon. Bow forward and we're going to come up and bring the palms to the heart center. Take a breath here. Moon salutation, saluting the moon. So if you happen to have a block handy where you can even put a pillow in between your legs, we're gonna go ahead and use a block here or a pillow. The feet walk in as far as they can underneath your hip bones. And then we're gonna soften the knees a little bit. So I'm just bending a little bit. We're going to take the palms out, and then you're going to make a little twist over towards your right. You can look over that right shoulder. 
Okay, we're going to stand all the way back up into mountain. Take a breath. You're engaging that block, right? Bend the knees a little. Some of you will bend them a little bit more. Take the hands on the outside of the left leg. And I'm trying to keep my knees above my ankles. Inhale, come on up. So basically chair pose, mountain pose here. Chair with the twist, hands to the one side. You don't have to sit down so far. We're gonna inhale, come on up. Exhale, engage that block. Okay, we've got one more time on each side. Your toes can be lifted here. Keep them lifted. Go into your chair twist. One more time over to the left. Nice Tadasana. You don't have to have the palms together. Your hands can separate here. Next time we come up, pause into mountain. Feel those legs really working to hold the block there. And then exhale, release the arms. And we can go ahead and get rid of that block as well. Okay, let's do at least one balancing pose this morning. So use a chair, use a wall, whatever you need. Let's go into tree pose. So your right toes, we can all start and kickstand. Your toes are out to the side. Your heel might rest right above your other ankle. And you really want to make sure you're not pushing into that hip. So that left leg's nice and long. Okay, we'll start with the palms at the heart center. Nice steady gaze. You could even bring your hands towards the third eye, that index finger, as we did with that um, acupressure point. Or namaste hands at the third eye center. And then for those of you who want to lift the foot up a little bit higher, you can. Anybody want to release the arms and do anything you want with the arms? You could even float the arms a little bit. You know, creative here. Your tree pose. Of course, if you move the arms, then it's changing the weight on that standing leg. Nice steady gaze. And we can all release. Okay, if you need to shake it out a little bit before we go to the other side. Okay. Tadasana legs, that's where we start. Mountain. Maybe kickstand. So when I get the toes to point out towards the left, then my knee's going that way. I'm trying to keep the hip bones forward. Okay. Any position with the arms. Don't have to bring it into that third eye center, but just play with it. Where you want to go? Where's that foot want to go? Most important thing is not even where you want to go, where your body wants to go today. Because if balance is off a little bit today, you might need a little support. You might keep the toes down. You feel really stable here. You might want to start playing with the arms. Get a sense of your whole pelvic floor lifting up. So try to keep the spine nice and long, the sternum long, even the pelvic floor lift a little bit. That can help with balance. Nice full breaths. Maybe even some ujjayi breath here because you might want to use that in your meditation. Little raspy sound in the back of the throat. And then we can release this side. Nicely done. Coming back to the front of the mat. Inhale the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Step the right leg back, step the left leg back, downward dog. If you want to walk that dog out, go ahead and walk the dog out. I always like to give modifications just in case you need that. So puppy stretch would be, or child pose would be your modified version. We're going to go into plank position. Now I can work my abs just as strongly actually if I put my knees down. So your choice, you can be on your forearms as well. 
Try not to look at your device. Neck nice and long. Navel in towards your spine. And knees to the earth, everybody. Keep the toes curled under if you can. And then walk your heels or your hips back to your heels. Doesn't always work for everybody. Okay, so you might have to undo those. Palms together at the heart center. We're gonna watch the hands come up. And then maybe just a little arch back. Watch the hands come to the heart. Okay. One more time, you can uncurl those toes if you need to, or you could just be simply standing on your knees and watch the hands come back to the heart center. Hands to the floor, and then I'd like you to bring your forearms onto the floor. Slide one leg back, toes curled under. So this might be your position. We're going into forearm plank. For anybody that wants to take both legs back and come into your plank position. Okay, I can separate the feet a little bit in my plank. At any point, I can put both knees down or at least one knee down. Back of the neck, nice and long. You can do it. Three more breaths, wherever you are, or change it up a little bit if need be. Strengthening those shoulders. and then knees to the earth. Walk yourself back into a child. And we're all gonna come forward into a seated posture, okay, with the legs extended out. Okay. I'll do it from the side. So you're gonna take your right leg over your left, but the right hand's gonna hold that leg. Keep this left leg active and take your left hand kind of out and back a little bit. So we're gonna hug that right leg in with the right hand. It's not a twist. And then we're gonna drop the left ear over towards the left shoulder. Keep pressing out through the left heel, press down through the right heel, hold on to the right leg. That just gives a nice little neck stretch here. And then take that right arm up towards the sky and maybe overhead a little bit. The head's still hanging over to the left. Keep the legs active though. And then you can release the right arm. And now what we're gonna do, depending upon your knees, is we're gonna fold, I'm gonna lean to the side, put that left leg underneath. It might not work for some of your knees, so you can keep it extended out. Going into a little bit of a hip stretch here where I'm stacking the knees. You might want a, a pillow or a blanket underneath your hips. Let's do some circles around. Sometimes I palm my feet. Sometimes I bring the arms out to the side or even on that top knee. So if it doesn't work for your knees to be folded like this, let the bottom leg stay out. and You can do little micro movements as well. Anybody need a little bit more? You can come forward, keeping the hips down, the torsos lengthening over the front uh, leg. I hope you feel this in that right glute area. And some of you, if you have the leg, the bottom leg out, you're probably getting more of a hamstring stretch, or you can just hug that right knee in. Okay, we won't be here too much longer. Okay, everybody, let's back out and then let's get those legs out. Maybe even pedal them out a little bit, free up the back of the knees. Okay, and now the left leg's going to go over the right, so that right leg's going to stay extended, stay flexed. Same hand is holding the knee left to left. Right arm extends out, so I'm trying to keep my body nice and long here. And then the right ear is going to fall over towards the shoulder. You can press down through the left foot, out through the uh, right heel. And if anybody wants to take that left arm up, overhead a little bit, keep the head heavy. 
both sit bones on the ground, so don't lean too much over towards the right. And then we'll go ahead and bring the arm down and bring that other one in. So options stay here or lean a little to the right as you fold that right leg under. So maybe you can do it, but this, this knee has to stay up or maybe you try, try to stack the knees, okay? Little micro movements here. If you're palming the feet, you might give them a little massage, a little squeeze. And then you find your position for the next several breaths where you can feel it in the hip. Again, if the bottom leg is extended out, then you might be getting more of a hamstring stretch. Hmm. So ujjayi breath is that um, exhalation. Uh, that has a little raspy sound. It's actually done on the inhale and the exhale, but if you're not familiar with it, you could just simply use it on the exhale. Okay, let's back off. You might lean back to take the legs out or one at a time. We can all pedal those legs out. Then from here, hands on the floor and then come down onto your forearms, keep your knees bent, and then you're gonna come laying onto your backs. Okay. Keep the knees bent if you would for a moment, arms by your sides, and then pick your feet off the floor. I'm keeping my feet kind of flexed, maybe the heel and the, or the ankle and the knee align with one another. If you feel this in the lower back, just go ahead and bring the knees in a little bit more. You might even try that to get the lower back flat. And then simply extend out through one leg, bend it, bring it back by the other knee, and then extend the other leg. Okay, And alternate back and forth. So if I feel it in the back, I'm going to keep the knees in towards me a little bit more. If I could take the knees right above the hips, I'll do that. And then those of you who want a little bit more, the extended leg could get a little lower to the ground. But if you start noticing you're arching that lower back, then I'd rather you keep the leg a little higher to the ceiling. Okay, just a few more, but go slow. I mean, I, I feel it. Uh, if I just pedal the legs out, I don't feel it as much. I go fast than if I just take my time. And you can always bring whatever, both knees in a little bit or keep that one knee that's in, bring it in a little bit more, or even hold it for, um, to aid in support for your lower back. One more on each side. Your abs are engaged. When you finish equally, go ahead and hug the knees in and then make some circles here. And that half an hour goes by really quick. <laughs> and then a couple circles in the other direction. And then see if there's any other pose you want to do. Because I'd like to give you, and it's just going to be four or five minutes of um, Shavasana. But as you start to settle into Shavasana, and some of you might do your meditation on the floor so you can have your chair available or whatever you're going to use if you're going to stay on to your back. Okay, so just a couple minutes four minutes of Shavasana. Let the lower back relax. Iyengar says for every hour that you practice uh, asana, the poses, you should do a 10 minute Shavasana. So we did a half an hour, so we'll give ourselves four or five minutes of Shavasana. You might even want to bring your index fingers and thumbs together. It helps with the nervous system concentration focus. Okay. 
can use the same mudra in a little bit when we come into our meditation. So for now, you don't have to do anything. I'd like you to surrender into your support. What would it take to fully, fully relax and let go? of the breath. No need to focus on the breath. Empty out. Taking the stillness. And stay where you are, still relaxed. Bring in uh, the ujjayi sound, closing off of the back of the throat. One way to get there is if you exhale through your mouth and then try to do that closing your lips. That's the sound we're trying to get for ujjayi. It can be on the inhalation and the exhalation, or just the exhalation. And then nice slow movements if you're going to change your position for meditation. I think it's most important that you are comfortable and that the spine is long. So whatever that takes, if it takes lying down, sitting in a chair, backing up against the wall, find that place. So each Wednesday, I'll be offering a different technique of meditation. Maybe you want to try it for the whole week, see if it works for you. This one is called So Hum Breathing Meditation. Just take your time transition. 
So means higher consciousness and hum is individual self. This divine mudra is constantly occurring through the breath in every living being. Each time we breathe in, the sound of so comes in. And then as we exhale, the sound of hum. So hum means I am that. Beyond limitations of the mind and the body, I am one with the absolute. Okay. So there's a little bit more to this. So feel free to go into your own meditation if you're not going to use this one. Your awareness starts at the base of the spine. As you inhale, you inhale up through the front of the body. But when you get to the throat, you're going to cross the line and go to the back of the head. And when you get to the crown of the head, you pause. Then, that was the so breath, the hum comes down, you visualize coming down through the front of the face, cross at the throat, down to the back of the spine, back into that, call it the perineum or the base of the spine, okay? So let's just do that a few times. Inhale, so. You're going to cross at the throat, go to the back of the head, pause, hum down the front of the face, cross at the throat, to the back of the spine, down to the perineum. And then you start, start the cycle off. I quite often use this if um, my meditation is all over the place, because I have a mudra I'm using, I have the sound of the ujjayi breath I'm using, I have the mantram, so hum and the visualization of that figure eight, okay? So find yourself in position, okay? And I'll repeat it again if you're using this. Again, mudra, if you wanna use index finger and thumb together, if I gave you another one in the beginning, if right palm is on top of the left palm, then the thumbs touch, okay? Just make sure your spine is long and your body's comfortable. I'll repeat it a couple times just so you get it. And if it doesn't work for you, let it go. Maybe just work on that ujjayi sound. Okay, so we're gonna inhale at the base of the spine, bring it up the front of the body. It's gonna cross at the throat, come to the back of the head, there's a pause. Exhale through the front of the face, cross at the throat to the back of the body, circling back down around to the base of the spine. Okay, so so on the inhale. Pause, exhale, hum. And you can let that end sound occur all the way to the exhalation. Okay. So hum, I am that. Okay. I'll repeat it one more time. At the base of the spine, inhaling through the front of the body, cross at the throat to the back of the head. That's so. Hum comes down the front of the face, crosses at the throat, goes back to the spine and down to the perineum, okay? So have a good sit. We're just gonna be sitting for 20 minutes. I'll just turn the video off when we're done. So I'll say namaste now, thanks for joining me. Just in case any of you want to stay in this quiet space, have a beautiful day and a wonderful sit here in your meditation. Just know others are sitting with you.
all for sitting. Have a blessed day. Thanks.